So let's look at the value of third-party tools now because I'm going to show you what this, is, this business is worth. I hear all the time, oh, the people work really hard. Oh, nobody's stepping up to the plate. Oh, I can't find people. It's just really hard. I'm really frustrated. I'm working, I'm carrying all those buckets of water again and again and again I carry those buckets of water. What would your response be to me if you were my mentor? We're going to build a pipeline of duplication, but you're right, delegate too. So we want to make sure that we don't get frustrated. So I'm going to pass around transformation oil if you need a little transformation, because we really want to transform how we think about business. We really want to master the idea and the concept and really grab on to the power of geometric progression. We have to be system driven. You hear that all the time, but what does it mean? Don't just talk about being system driven. If you're overworked, you're not system driven. This business should be with grace and ease. Now you should be busy, but not to the point where you're stressed. You want to use systems and you teach duplication. Here are the four books. First book, four-year career, it teaches the business model. Second book, it teaches the main concepts of duplication. Then, depending on the person's personality, I give one or the other. Sarah Robbins talks the business language and skills and how to say it. GoPro, Eric Worre, seven skills. You want to master both of them, but it depends on which one I give first. I typically don't give all four of them at once because it can overwhelm somebody. I loan out one at a time and, and go through them. The system, you want to duplicate. The four books is your, your third party tools that every one of you should be using and mentoring. The next steps, we have some additional tools. Building an empire I have in the back. That's a good one, but we also have CDs you can loan out. Duplication Nation, um, that works. But get these as your additional ones. If you're moving up to executive and silver, you might want to start investing in other things. But those are the foundational ones. Don't go past that until you get a marketing budget. And then leadership growth. These, when you're going into the silver and gold, but some of you are senior stars, and you are moving and shaking, I've already loaned you my, my Artemis Limpert, which is my favorite, and I usually save that for silvers and above, but I've loaned that out to a couple senior stars because they are ready, they want to go. I have some of the John Maxwell up here too, but this is your system, use it, everybody. So when I come to you next year, and I come up to you, what is the system? What are the four books, right? You can name those four books. You can tell them what is this business all about, one, two, three, and away you go. Duplication Nation is awesome. Last fall we did a 10 week class. This is a great, I like to run it like a book club because I'm very social. My husband likes to just sit down, get it done. He goes to the Gage Academy, which is all online. So depending on what kind of person you are, I personally love the book club because you get to really get hands on with your team. So however you want to do that, use Duplication Nation. Okay, so we talked about what does it mean as a portfolio option, but take this slide and duplicate. This is one of the key things I like to show people because what does that stinking $200 mean to you? That is equivalent if you wanted to earn residual income from the bank, um, interest on your money, that means you get paid whether you go to work or not. That's called residual income. And you can earn residual income of $200 per month. That's the equivalent of $48,000 in the bank earning 5% interest. So many people don't have $48,000 in earning in an investment because you have to leave it there, right, to earn it. 
So you can create the same amount of income with Young Living. So that stinking $200 is a great portfolio. So if you have a spouse or a friend that says, oh man, you're only making $200, you open your eyes and you say, do you know what that means? Do you know what that stinking $200 means? That's the equivalent of 48,000 in the bank earning 5%. That can be in your portfolio for your future. Look at somebody who makes $1,000 in Young Living. That's as if you had $240,000 in the bank, or, or not in the bank, in an investment earning 5%. Isn't that awesome? Financial class 101 at its <laughs> finest, right? Because if you do this for 10 years, then you'll be the bank for somebody. So write your visionary check when you get home tonight, or you can draw it on your paper right now, make a check, and put your visionary check. Make it a good one, but then do a second one that's a, that is a step, your first step. Maybe it's $200, maybe it's $500, maybe it's $1,000, but know where you can uprank. So if you have a, uh, let's say you want a $1,000 check, you know that you have to uprank to at least silver. So you're gonna, if you're a star right now, you're gonna, how do I uprank to senior star? Now what do I have to do to get to executive? And you take it in steps, does that make sense? Every business tracks. You must track your business. So we use a tracking sheet and this matches the four-year career. The reason I like this is because we always talk about the 90-day plan and we always talk about the four-year career so that it matches the circles because most people are instead of five years they're doing it in four years. Darren Hardy was at, at um, we heard him speak two years ago he says inspiration is for amateurs achievers just show up and get the work done. As I said before, this is a pay it forward business. It's different than the other business models you'll experience. Your job as a business owner is to pay it forward and make, help somebody else be successful. It's all about their goals and their dreams. And I guarantee you, if you focus on that other person and they become successful, you're successful. So go out there and make it all about them and you'll see profits follow service. Between a dream's inspiration and its manifestation, there's going to be a lot of perspiration. <laughs> this is not easy, but it's well worth it. Tonight, go home and start reviewing um, your lessons. Make sure that you have the books and be inspired by that. Right now, many people, if you turned around, you would look out there and you would just see seeds. You guys are beautiful seeds. <coughs> but I see trees. I see these gorgeous, strong, foundational trees. And when you look at these magnificent trees, they have roots that are grounded in the foundation. They have mastered the essentials of of that base. And these trees, they'll withstand frost, they'll withstand high winds, they'll withstand a lot of challenges. And that's what's gonna happen in your business too. You want the foundation strong so that you can withstand the frost and the winds and so on. Don't be like a tomato plant who's, we nurture that little tomato plant and then the first frost comes and it wilts right over. You wanna make sure that you have that strong foundation of those beautiful trees. Mm -hmm.